Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today I'm extremely happy to be doing another fragrance knockout video, and today I am bringing you the entire Beyonce collection. Pardon that I have a friend, Miss Luna, Luna Tuna. Hey, pretty girl. She doesn't care. There was a bug in here. I got said bug. Insert the end of this video. You will see B footage of her watching the bug. So stick around to the end of the video if you want to see Luna looking at a bug. Hi, baby girl. Hi. Anyway, so we're going to go through all of Beyonce's fragrances. I have them all laid out in front of me. And I'm just going to kind of go from my favorite to my least favorite. And we'll talk about all of them. So, the one thing I do want to tell you guys about is the really cool thing about Beyonce fragrances is they all are based off of, like, an orchid. Everyone is based off of a different orchid, with minor exceptions. But anyway, Beyonce's favorite flower is an orchid. Now, in the perfume realm, orchid is basically a fantasy note, meaning it kind of doesn't really actually have a scent. Um, they kind of just make it up and say that that's an orchid, or it's this orchid. So every single one of Beyonce's fragrances is based off of an orchid. So not only will I be telling you guys um, my little opinion on each one, I'll tell you guys what each orchid is. So, let's kind of just go through these really quick. So, yes, and I know, I touched my face, Corona. I haven't left my house in God knows how many days, and wash and dry my hands all the time, sanitize. We're good here. Anyway, first one is Beyonce's Heat Wild Orchid. So, as you guys know, I'm not a huge coconut fan, but this is coconut done well. This is very light and very airy. Um, this one, there's something about the coconut in this one that I really, really like. I've worn this very, like, probably the most out of all of her fragrances, and it, there's, it's something about it that's very refreshing. Um, this one has a uh, butterfly orchid in it, that's kind of like its fantasy orchid. And like, um, all of the Beyonce bottles are supposed to be like a, or the, at least the heat bottles are supposed to be designed like a woman's body. And then the top is like an ice cube, obviously. The next one is Beyonce Rise. So this one is very different. Um, it's got like ice basil sorbet. The orchid in it is golden symphony orchid. And it is... A very mature take on Beyonce fragrances. Definitely doesn't smell like heat. It doesn't have that kind of patchouli vibe. This is very... It is quite mature, but very wearable. Very just kind of is what it is. Um, it lasts forever, but it has this floralness to it that is very different from a lot of fragrances I've smelled. And with that like ice basil sorbet, it definitely does make this a very different fragrance. And that's what I like about this one is it isn't something you smell on the regular. So if you don't want to smell like somebody else, this is definitely a good one. And definitely isn't going to smell like very young or teenager-y. Um, but it isn't going to be too old th that, um, or mature, not to be discriminatory, um, that you're going to get like kind of looked at and said, why are you wearing said fragrance or that, that smells old or like an old lady or anything like that. My friends joke that this looks like French fries. Like we joke that this is like the French fry perfume. Um, in at number three is Rise Sheer. So both of these are Golden Symphony Orchid. And um, there's really no different. This is just supposed to be a lighter, fresher version of Sheer. And it definitely is. It just doesn't last as long. Um, the original Rise lasts about 12 hours on me. This doesn't last out as long it lasts me about six um but definitely like rise in the summertime so if you like rise and it is your signature fragrance this is a really be good one for oh why did i say it like that blah, blah. um this would be a good one for wearing like spring and summer if you don't want something as heavy because rise could be a little bit heavy next in is beyonce heat seduction this one is it does have some really really fruity vibes to it. It's the patchouli in this is something that I can actually wear. Um, it is very kind of it's very sophisticated and very boss like, but it does have kind of like a fruitiness to it. This is definitely something um, I think would be considered kind of like a boss scent or kind of like a notice me scent. Um, it isn't super like 
loud and super projective, but it is definitely something that is very kind of assertive when you do smell it. it does kind of give off that kind of like boss girl vibes. Um, this one is, um, what is this one? Orchid. Do, 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 do. I did write them all down just so I can make sure I have them. Do... Seduction is African Jungle Trail Orchid. Um, I Most times, so what I believe is, from what I've understood, Beyonce picks an orchid that is her favorite orchid, and that's the one that they designed that fragrance around. A lot of times it has to do with, like, the color that the fragrance comes out to be, or kind of, like, the vibe. So, like, look up some of these orchids, you'll kind of see how they resemble the Beyonce fragrance that they go with. Next is Heat Rush, so I really like this one. Um, but there's something in this one that is kind of off with me, and that's why I put it below Heat Seduction. I do really, really like it, I do really, really like Heat Seduction, but there's just something in this one, and I don't know what it is. It's when it starts to dry down that it's not my favorite thing in the entire world, but this is definitely the kind of like lighter, fun, summer, summer fruity version of um, heat and Beyonce range. It is a yellow tiger orchid. Um, and like I said, it's definitely like the summary version and it does last quite a while on me, but, um, that being said, it doesn't last the longest because it is still a very light fragrance. Next one, and I was going to smell it before I even showed it to you guys, is Beyonce Pulse Summer Edition. My face itches for some reason. Um, this is Pulse, very much has that Pulse DNA with like kind of that liquory, boozy vibe. Um, but this is definitely turned up fruitier for the summer. Kind of like how Heat Rush and Heat are like, this, you know, that that is definitely what this is. Very summer edition, very, very fruity. Um, fruitier than Pulse, but still has that kind of like sophisticated and like... Um, floralness that Pulse has. This one has do, 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 ginger orchid in it and it is it is my favorite of the three pulses just because it is so fruity but that being said there is um I there's something in the dry down of all three pulse fragrances that I don't really like but that being said they do stand like I do feel like all three of the pulse fragrances stand um well, for, like, the kind of the range that Pulse is supposed to be, that kind of, like, electrify, feel the power sort of thing. Um, the next one is Pulse NYC. So, love the packaging on this one. Don't love the scent as much on this one. But I do love it more than Pulse because it has Red Velvet Cupcake in it. And this one is, the orchid in it is, like, the moth orchid or the household orchid because it's supposed to show that orchids can grow even in the harshest places of New York that an orchid could grow. Insert what I mean why Beyonce comes up with some of the most interesting things. But, yes, this one does have Red Velvet Cupcake in it. You do notice it in it. It does kind of add that kind of, like, cupcakey, chocolatey vibe to it. Um... But, that being said, there is still that kind of pulse dry down that I'm not the biggest fan of. But, some people love, 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 and I know that that might be you. Try the original pulse. If you like the original pulse, you might like all three. So, that being said, next in is pulse. Um, this one is the Blue Bird Orchid. Um, and this is, got this uh, blue Caraco note in it, so it does kind of have like a boozy opening to it. Um, with this kind of powerful patchouli-ish musky dry down um it does last quite a while it just isn't my personal vibe and that's kind of like where we're getting into is the not my personal vibe range of beyonce's fragrances next is heat kissed love this bottle i love like the deep redness of this it is a gorgeous gorgeous bottle um heavy on the patchouli it does have some fruits in it so i've worn it a few times my Opinion on it has changed since originally smelling it. Um, but it does have um, a very, very heavy patchouli in it that sometimes I can rock, sometimes I cannot. I'm not the biggest patchouli fan. But this one is... What is this one? Apparently, I forgot to look up He Kissed. Uno momento, pause, and we'll be right back. So, my phone's dead, so we're not going to look it up right now. But, 
I will insert it right here if I remember into editing world. Next in is Beyonce Heat Pulse, or Beyonce Heat Pulse. Beyonce Heap, the Mrs. Carter Show World Tour Limited Edition. I remember when this came out, I, like, wanted this one so freaking bad. I thought the name was the funniest thing in the world because it was longer than Sin. And I love the bottle. It's probably my favorite of the Heat bottles just because I love the gradient from one color to the other. It's very fresh, very tropical. Um, not, I'm not the biggest fan of it for some reason. Um, it... It's very different from a lot of the heats in that range. It does not smell like Rush. Um, it's very different from all the other heats. It is very fresh. It is very kind of tropical, but at the same time, it has that patchouli dry down. And the orchid in this one is the Paratha Edva Lou orchid, or a, a, a spider orchid. Um, but yeah, this is a definitely like a fruity scent, but not my personal fruity, and it's probably most because of the patchouli that it dries down with. Next in is Heat Shimmering, or Shimmering Heat. Wow, I messed that one up. Um, Shimmering Heat, this is, in my opinion, Beyonce's Heat version of Light Blue. Um, it has very similar citrusy vibes to Light Blue, um, but with the kind of like patchouli heat DNA mixed in there as well. Um, I don't like Light Blue, and I'm not the biggest fan of Heat, so that being said, that's where that one falls into. And in next is the original Heat. This is Beyonce's first fragrance. The one that started it all. Very, very, very heavy on the patchouli. Very feel the fever, feel the fever, feel the heat. Um, kind of the original like, tagline was feel the fever. Um, it is a very patchouli dominant fragrance. And I'm not the biggest fan of it for that. I know that this was a remarkably good seller. And if you like patchouli fragrances, you'll love it. And the very, very last one is this one, which the color has changed, and it's Beyonce's Heat Ultimate Elixir. I forgot to tell you that um, Heat is Red Vanilla Orchid, and Shuring Heat is the Blue Mystique Orchid, and in between those, I missed one, and it is Midnight Heat. So, I do like Midnight Heat a little bit more than Heat, just because it's got this, like, a plum in it, almost. Um, and my lid almost just came off of that. But, um, I'm not the biggest fan of the original Heat, and I do feel like Midnight Heat has a lot of the original DNA mixed in there. Um, but it's just the patchouli dominant knit note that I'm not the biggest fan of. Ultimate Elixir was a more concentrated and more, um, Ultimate Elixir is a more concentrated and more, like, heavy version of Heat, which Heat is already a powerhouse fragrance, so... I would want an even stronger version is beyond me. But that being said, as you guys know, and how, if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know I don't like patchouli and I don't like that kind of like deep, heavy fragrance. And that is definitely where heat lies in. Um, not saying that it's a bad fragrance at all. It just isn't my personal cup of tea. So there you guys go. There is the fragrance knockout for the Beyonce series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Adas Perfume, and Instagram, I'm the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. I hope you guys are staying safe out there, social distancing right now. Um, it is a very, very scary time right now, and hopefully we can get through this. But, you know, we will. We will get through this. We'll get through it together. Um, it was just time will tell. So, let's, you know, cross our fingers that this gets over sooner rather than later. And stay safe, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.